Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. You know, I want to I want to kind of tune in because we're getting a question. A lot of people are saying, and Mike says, man, this feels incredible. I'm getting chills and tingles in my hands, in my feet, everywhere. Paula says, something left my body. I'm now totally objective and calm. I want to get more into this, like, view of ourselves, because I I know that that's a lot of the deeper work is sort of, like, our self-view. How much of that, for most people, is our own, and how much of it is really coming from somewhere else? Well, let's put it this way. The real simple tool is what's true makes you feel lighter and a lie makes you feel heavier. And how much of the stuff that you get from other people about you makes you feel lighter and how much makes you feel heavier? I'd say literally every part of your self-view that makes you feel heavier, number one, it's a lie. Number two, you bought it from somebody else. Because you know what's true for you. If somebody can simply ask you the question, you actually already know what's true for you because it makes you feel lighter always. And I can ask you a question about something that occurred that you thought you had no idea about, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, that's the answer, just because you know you have far greater awareness. But it's partially because of that great and amazing awareness you have that you have this self-view of you that seems so much less than you'd like it to be because you've been picking up that crap your whole life and thinking it was yours. What mm. if it's not? Mm. Yes. Wow. Wow. Can we do a clearing to to begin to like loosen and remove that? Yes, please. Cool. So <laughs> let's do oh, I'm like, yes, I'm so glad to be asked. Um so I'm 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 bordering because I've got I've got a, a couple of specific clearings that are let's just say they're mind boggling and mind blowing that I'm not sure uh -oh. it you know, might be a little a little too intense for the call, let's put it that way. They are on they are in some of the loops that are included in the package, but I they might be a little much for the call. So I'm thinking I'll just keep it simple. So let's do this. So Oh man. <laughs> now you've got me curious and everyone else curious, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I was sitting there I'm like, yeah, well, no, let them delve into that if they want to later on. That's not a problem. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But let me give you um hmm. Okay, so what if, what if you no longer had to try to gravitate towards the lowest common denominator? Mm. See, what most people do, they're, they're, one of the things we've talked about in Access for a while, and, and it's given a lot of people a lot of freedom, is that there seem to be two different types of people on the planet, almost like two different species. You, know, you don't have to call them two different species, but they're definitely two different ways in which people function. And uh, there's one group that is looking to change the world. They're looking to change their lives. They're always in judgment of themselves, and they think they're judgmental of others, even though they're not. And they're always looking to try to make the world a better place, and they always think that they're always doing something wrong. So those are the humanoids of the world, the ones who are looking for something different, who are always trying to make the world a better place. And those are the people, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like Da Vinci would be a great example of a humanoid. Mm. You know, he was like, what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? And a lot of the people listening to your call would be more like the humanoids. And the humans, on the other hand, and once again, it's just a different way of functioning, but the humans, on the other hand, are sort of always in judgment of everyone and everything else, and they think they're right and everybody else is wrong, especially the humanoids. And, you know, their point of view is this is the way we do it because this is the way we've always done it. What's your problem? Shut up. Okay? And yeah, so yeah. what's happened is the humanoids of the world, the people that have always looked for something different, have always made themselves inferior and invalidated themselves in the face of the people who have the most judgment. So everything you've all done to invalidate you in the face of the people who have the judgment 
and everything you've done to make yourself wrong for not being able to get them to see your point of view a possibility and for not being able to make them happy, will you destroy and create it, please? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, fox, shorts, boys, and meons. <laughs> I love the spaciness that goes on in your head when we do this stuff, my friend. <laughs> Well, it's 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 actually contagious because a lot of people are saying that uh, they love it. Uh, uh, so another person just said, oh, I love this work that you're doing. It's changed the way I look at things in life. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do do in my life, though. And so, like, a lot of you are creating this open space. What key, Part of this paradise, I think, too, is living a life that that at some level you – feel like is in your path and I think or in your destiny or is what you're here to do is that a is that a myth or is it just a energetic frequency that keeps us thinking that we don't know what we're here to do I want to maybe touch on that a little bit and open up people to that new possibility absolutely and I'm so glad you brought it up because basically this is where what's true makes you feel lighter and a lie makes you feel heavier so there's a part of that awareness that is definitely not a myth that is definitely true you're here to do and be something that is greater than anything you've ever thought, anything you've ever mm. considered, okay? And and when I say that, I'm not just trying to blow smoke up your butt with that one, okay? Like, literally, you are here to do something that is far greater than you've been acknowledging. And part of the reason your life seems like not enough and like it's not working is because you've tried to believe that that's not actually true of you. Now, on the other hand the options for what you're supposed to be able to do that this reality gives you are not enough. And that's where it starts to feel heavy. So on the one hand, you, you know you're destined for greatness. You know you are greatness. You know you're here to bring it to the world as a totally different possibility than this reality knows. And on the other hand, you think the only way you can bring it to the world is by doing something this reality already has within it. In other words, you know, like I'm going to be an amazing marketer. I'm going to be an amazing this or that. What if you're here to be an amazing changer of realities? So mm. so how many of you know that you're here with the job of awakening consciousness so that it can mm. exist? How many of you have been hiding consciousness with every fiber of your body and being for the last four trillion years, waiting for the time when it could reawaken, and now's the time? Everything that doesn't like to know it, if it's true for you, and everything that doesn't lie to be it if it's true for you, and everything that doesn't lie to actually awaken it now if it's true for you. Let's change it on three. One, two, three. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So everything, what, do you, what is it you know that you've been pretending not to know or denying that you know? Everything that is, times a gazillion. Will you destroy and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. What is it you've been pretending not to be or denying that you be? That if you'd allow yourself to be it, would change your life and your world and this world and this reality. Everything that doesn't allow that times a gazillion. Will you just run and create it, please? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And what is it you've been pretending that you can't receive, that you truly can now receive, if you'll allow yourself to be everything you truly be? and stop hiding it from you and everyone else. Everything that is, times a gazillion. Will you destroy and create it, please? Absolutely. Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And what is it you know from over four trillion years ago that you'd now be willing to bring into existence, bring into the now, bring to here, and allow 2013 to be your best year so far and just get greater from there? Everything that doesn't allow that, times a gazillion. Will you destroy and create it and let us change it? Together on three. Yes. One, two, three. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna to get to be a part of the UF Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now 
daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.